This week we're talking about Henry Cavill House of the Dragon rumors, the Westworld cancellation, and McDonald's' new gaming chair. Hello everybody, welcome again to This Week in Geek. I am your host, Jess, and here on this show we talk about this week's news in gaming, TV, movies, tech, and more. And stick around for the hot take this week, I think you're gonna hate me for this one. <laughs> in gaming news, Stranger Things announced on Stranger Things Day that there's going to be a new virtual reality game where you get to play as Vecna. There's a Stranger Things Day? Yes, it is officially the day that Will gets abducted. Oh. In a press release, they said that players will harness telekinetic energy and you get to mess with the other players or other characters' dreams. And I think this is super interesting because I have not yet heard of a virtual reality game where you get to play as the villain. I also think it's fascinating that they're focusing on Vecna because in the past, games and DLC have been the protagonists of the show and kind of the whole theme of the show is these you know, good characters triumphing over evil, and now they're just putting you right in the seat of the evil character. Kojima Productions' next game, which is slowly and cryptically being announced, has revealed their next main character. You might recognize Shioli Katsuna from Deadpool 2 as Negasonic Teenage Warhead's girlfriend, and she has been acting in Japan for 10 years. Now, Kojima has said that his next game is gonna be almost like a new medium, and I personally have a hard time imagining what that could be. Maybe like virtual reality, but you're playing through a story almost? You're playing through an, a movie? Let me know in the comments what you think this could possibly be because that's fascinating. I am super excited about the new Dead by Daylight release at the end of November because we are getting a medieval twist. The new killer is a knight with three guards and a new survivor who is a surprisingly sexy tattooed arcane scholar. Ikea is suing an indie game developer because they have used Ikea's likeness in their game. So I can't tell if this is just like excellent viral marketing or, or what because now everybody knows what this game is. It's not been released yet, it's still on Kickstarter, but you can see from the game trailer that you fight your way through a dark Ikea looking furniture store and there are zombie-esque monsters who wear the iconic yellow striped Ikea shirts. So we'll see what happens. A Pokemon Go data miner has leaked a new Pokemon from the new Violet and Scarlet game ahead of its November 18 release. Not much is known about this Pokemon, but it has been dubbed the Coin Pokemon by fans because it wears a big coin. We're not sure what that does yet, but right now it looks like a cute little backpack. McDonald's has launched a Facebook sweepstakes to win a McCrispy gaming chair. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it has spots for you to hold your sauces and a spot for you to keep your McCrispy warm because that's all what we need. Warmer gaming chairs. And uh, apparently this gaming chair is entirely made of McCrispies. <laughs> I dare you to comment. I guess there's only gonna be four of them. So if you wanna be one of the lucky winners of the rare, McCrispy Gaming Chair, you can enter the sweepstakes on Facebook. In TV and movie news, Henry Cavill has responded to the rumors of him appearing in House of the Dragon season two. In a live interview with Happy Sad Confused, the interviewer asked if Henry had anything to say about the rumors of him in Loki and House of the Dragon season two. And after joking and waffling for a little bit, Henry said, I don't think there's a place for me there. And the way he said it just, Hold on. <clears throat> I have some theories. Can we zoom in on his face there? Is this another Andrew Garfield situation with Spider-Man? Is he lying to the public? I posted a TikTok on this and I am fully in the camp that our Henry is lying to us and he will be appearing in House of the Dragon season two. And a lot of you responded to that TikTok and said, he doesn't fit as a Targaryen, he's too famous. But some of you said he could be a Baratheon or a Stark. So I wanna know. Are you joining me in my tinfoil? And who do you think he'd be cast as in House of the Dragon season two? We have some good news and some bad news for HBO this week. In good news, The Last of Us series has an official release date. <laughs> and in bad news, Westworld has been canceled. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's boring now. <laughs> I think we know why it's being canceled. And this sucks for the co-creators Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy because they had said that they wanted to tell the entire story of the series in five seasons. So this cancellation comes a couple of months after the season four has ended, so they're not actually going to get to wrap up the story. Now, as we've been talking about here on This Week in Geek, there's been a lot of cuts at HBO lately, and the Warner Brothers Discovery CEO has said that they are trying to focus more on their big, high-grossing franchises such as Superman and Batman, and has even hinted that he wants to make more Harry Potter content. And we're not just talking about Fantastic Beasts. He said that he wanted to maybe talk to JK about more Harry Potter content, like Whoa. the main story. So uh, maybe we're gonna get to see more movies or even a TV series? Woohoo! <sighs> I would love that so much, but only if it's done well. It's time for the hot take, and this week it's gonna get spicy because my hot take this week is that Avatar 2 looks boring. I just murdered your argument, but in Navi. <laughs> so I guess I'll take the first bite. <clears throat> I do think that I have the hotter. I'm not sure. Are people like liking the I trailer? Think I think they are because humanity likes Avatar, proven by box office, but people that don't like it think they're cooler than they actually are. The squeaky wheels get in the grease. All right, so <laughs> there's my hot take. I just don't care about the plot. Like, I, I just watched it for a second time, the trailer, and I still okay. have no idea what's supposed to be happening. That's not a bet. <clears throat> this one? Number two. To your trailer point, that's not a bad thing to spoil the entire movie in a trailer. But I will give you, if you watch it on something other than your phone without like a privacy screen on, and you see the water go on the Navi's hand while he's like going in the ocean, it's so beautiful. I've never seen CGI like it in my life. Give it to me. I'll even see it in 3D, and I hate 3D. Alright, CGI? Yeah. yeah. I'm playing The Last of Us Part 1 right now. CG is incredible, and quite frankly, I'm just not as impressed anymore. I've seen a lot of great CGI. I think you should just give this a- uh, uh. This is turning more into not defending my point, but just like trying to plead with you to just give it a fucking chance. Good luck. Three hours. Way too long. That's what she said. <laughs> but three hours. When did you see Avatar 1? When I was in college. And it blew your mind? No. Oh, what'd you watch on? I watched Avatar 1 Yeah. on a dorm room TV screen, and it was boring. Because you're in a dorm room TV screen. Oh I have a second point to that. I watched Titanic, another James Cameron movie. And Fantastic. That guy can't lose. On a TV screen this big, on a TV VCR combination in my bedroom when I was like 10 years old, and it was my favorite favorite movie of all time, and I've mm -hmm. watched it like a hundred times since then. It's fantastic. But, <laughs> there's something, there's different things you want out of different movies. <laughs> Avatar is a very simple story. It's Fern Gully with CGI and naked hot ladies, but you go there for the full experience of the world. For Titanic, you go there because you want to fall in love with Rose and Jack. So you need to watch it, you need to experience it. It's like Saving Private Ryan, like why would you want to watch Saving Private Ryan like this? <laughs> And has like the best war scene in the world. Yeah. I'll give you that much. Take that! So your point is, you want me to be immersed in this underwater, beautiful uh, CGI world. Just dive in. Oop. Okay. I've seen Finding Nemo. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what does that mean if you've seen Finding Nemo? So like you can't watch any water movie? I need to take a bath. Mm -hmm. I've seen Finding Nemo. <laughs> name another water movie. I'm name good on one Name another animated Abyss? water movie. Oh, you can't, no, that's where we differ. You can't call this an animated movie. Yeah. It is an animated movie. This is computer generated graphics. They're shooting it, underwater. it's a totally different technology. And they also shot underwater. Yeah, they shot everybody in their weird ass motion capture suits underwater to get everything right. Oh man, I just want to- I mean, look, when Little Mermaid comes out, yeah. I'm here for it. So will I be. Using the same technology, right? It's like mm. real people mixed with animated no, stuff. No, I think it's Little Mermaid is just animated hair. They didn't actually go underwater. Yeah. You don't think they actually they really put Little Mermaid under underwater? Sea. They didn't go under the sea. You don't know that. I know it. No, you don't. They didn't do big ass tanks. Here's the thing. I don't want to fight. Let's, let me know in the comments if that's true or not. I don't want to fight with you. I want to see Avatar 2 with you. Because I will get joy when you have like this childlike sense of wonder while you're watching. Look, I'm not saying it looks like a bad movie. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it looks like it's going to be bad. I just think it's going to be boring. 
Imagine that analogy in any other context. I think in the, like with, the, with your boyfriend. Yeah, with you're your boyfriend. No, you're like, how that's, is how that's is that's a good analogy. Wait, how is the sex? It wasn't bad. Analogy. It was just I think if it's bad, it is boring. They're kind of synonymous. Cause I don't be like, oh yeah, did you go see that new boring movie this weekend? <laughs> it was so boring. I was like, <laughs> hey, you know what? There are plenty of classic movies that are regarded as like high art that I think are boring. So you would think they're bad? Not necessarily. I still appreciate the art form. Wait, where did we land? I'm excited because I like life, and you're just like poo pooing it. Is that where we landed? I wasn't excited about Avatar one. Not excited about Avatar two. What about Avatar three? If they put Henry Cavill in the third one, I'm there. All right, thank you everybody for hanging out with us for our hot take. Please let us know in the comments who you agree with more because the next week they will have to eat raw liver and bugs. All right, Lindsay is back to be punished. I'll be punished for losing my argument. Last week we argued over whether or not it's too early to have Mariah Carey's Christmas. <laughs> so, You're gonna. If you sing it, I'm okay with it. So I'm a little scared because I did peep into the comments and a lot of you are siding with Lindsay. Yes! I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing what the most top voted comments are because last week I tried to appeal to your hearts by telling you my sad, sad holiday <laughs> story. And I'm really hoping it worked. <laughs> All right, well, All right. the top comment from Richard Leos. Lindsay gets my vote. Thanksgiving wow. hasn't happened yet. Everyone knows Black Friday is the start of the Christmas period. <gasps> Black Friday? Yes, so much agreement. A, yes, no. Black Friday. <laughs> you know, maybe we'll have a future hot take where we'll talk about Black Friday. Oh, I'll go to town on Black Friday. <laughs> Bring Lindsay back for Black Friday. Let's do it. I'm the queen of Black Friday. <laughs> Whatever you're going to eat, I'll read the next one. Oh. No! Oh! It's liver! <laughs> all right, next one pretty uh, from Pretty Fast. 21. As with all things good, anticipation is key. Yes, Otherwise, why not start Xmas Christmas in October or <laughs> July for that matter? Lindsay for the win. No. <laughs> this is great. Okay. <laughs> oh, no! And then when you're like... This just okay. 10. Nine up votes too soon for the public. Christmas, anything in my opinion. Speaking of Christmas, Christmas December, comes early for me. Or at least until the end of the week of Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Don't be I feel honest. kind of bad. Oh, please, for the love of God. Okay, she opened up her hearts to you. I know. <laughs> but also, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh God. Okay. Hey, listen. With eight team Lindsay! What the Way too early for Mariah Carey. Get Lindsay, you pick for me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Please, please don't do this to me next week. Okay. Last from, from our friend Xari. Lindsay has my vote. What I the love heck? Christmas, but don't want to hear any songs unless it's December. <laughs> oh, be very happy to come back. Please, for the love of Christ. Oh, thank Bugs. God. Thank <laughs> the Lord. Ew. I don't think we've had a clean sweep oh. before. Now I regret this week's hot take because I'm going to lose again. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Please, please, I know you're not going to agree with me on this week's hot take about Avatar, but I need you. Dobbin's not here. Go, come here, come to this camera. Dobbin's not in the room, so even if you agree with him, vote for me, please. Okay, I love you. Bye. <laughs>